And that is this issue of the national sovereignty of the United States of America, which is being surrendered. We all know. We all know what's happening to the sovereignty of this country. It's being leached away, little by little by little. You see the United Nations talking about setting up a universal criminal court that can prosecute American soldiers without our permission. We see the IMF right now lending tens of billions, scores of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, putting at risk the American people without the say-so of the Congress of the United States of America. Last fall, the most trusted man in America, Walter Cronkite. He got an award. He got an award from the World Federal Association. And he went up there to the World Federal Association, and what did he say? He said, we Americans have got to have the courage to give up our sovereignty. We've got to have the courage to put our troops under UN command and get a world army to defend world peace because that's where the world is gone. I'll give, I tell you what, I'll give Cronkite credit. He says out loud what Gore believes and what Clinton believes and what Stroke Talbot says out loud. Now what is exactly, what is this new world all, order all about? It is about a reversal of the American Revolution. The American Revolution was a bunch of farm kids and kid, and get men working in blacksmith shops and working in other jobs, standing up to the greatest army on earth at places like Lexington and Concord and saying to the whole world that forever, no matter what happens, we Americans will decide here and decide for ourselves our own destiny. The new world order is the reversal, the overturning of that revolution. That's what the end goal is. America is a rich province part of their new world order. But I give you my word, if ever I stand up on that east wing of the Capitol and take my oath as President of the United States, when my hand goes up, their new world order comes crashing down.